Welcome back for Sunday Absolutely. Gardener this week. We're in the equivalent of Santa's workshop for toys <laughs> with Carrie Angle from Valley View Farms. And, and where are we right now? We're in, uh, we're, we're at the convention center in Baltimore. This is a trade show for people in the trade only. People like landscapers, garden centers, uh, professional gardeners, breeders of plants, uh, people that market plants. It's just a great place to get together with 900 of your best friend companies. Which is really <laughs> cool. And I know at Valley View, you do grow some of your own plants, but right. I think everyone thinks that you grow everything and that's just not the case. You actually, uh, I don't want to say pilfer from other <laughs> other growers, but you do. We do, and we do most of our business in Maryland, but we go into Pennsylvania. We even have some growers in Ohio, so we do get around. But Babico has been one of our stalwarts. I mean, they've been around forever. We've been they're doing, in Rosedale. Yeah, uh, we've been doing business with them as long as I can remember, and I've been around a long, long time. All right, and these are annuals. These are annuals, so they come back every year. I no, they no, don't. No, they don't. No, you they have to don't. plant them That's every right. year. <laughs> so they're there, but they bloom all summer long, which is awesome. So, so a lot of people love these. They do a lot of containers with these. A lot of bedding and just it, so many different varieties you can imagine. Begonias are some of the easier plants to grow for sun or shade. Coleus are a huge part of our industry now. They used to have about four varieties. Now we have hundreds. And, and a grower like this is good to choose from because you have such a wide variety. You do have a wide variety and they, they just keep growing. So as soon as they sell one product, they've got another one on that bench. So they grow pretty much year round. So now they're growing for early spring and in the summertime, they're still growing for fall sales. So you really have these people kind of, they've got your back as far as the garden center is concerned. So you always have something to sell. Well, do you get to see sort of some of the new colors that are out there too, different varieties? You do and you kind of get some of that from some of the garden press. So you'll hear about them first, but then you're like, okay, I want to look this up. There's a dragon wing white begonia this year. So so I've got to find that, which is something we're going to grow. Uh, and we can see it here before the customer sees it in the spring. And you sort of do get a jump on things, right? And that's the nice thing about being here. And, and you've got to be one of the queens of this place, right? <laughs> I, I can only imagine everyone knows who you are. I, a lot of people know I am. A lot of people know Valley View because, again, we've been around for 60 years. These guys have been around for ever forever uh, <laughs> and okay so when it comes to the annuals when can we start planting those after after your last frost so most annuals i'm going to say you're looking at about first to the middle of may things like pansies violas mm -hmm. some cooler things like snapdragons can go in earlier because they can handle the frost and because we've had such a mild winter it's been sort of nice to see things blooming even you know with the perennials not the annuals but even through the winter it is yeah and, but it does it gives you like you want to get going in the garden you're like hold on you gotta gotta wait a little bit <laughs> but it really does get your juices flowing and everything to get going. It does. So we have to cool our jets for just a little while, but it won't be long before we're back in the garden planting things like annuals. Carrie, thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> All right, back to you. And if you'd like to have your gardening questions answered, you can now email our Sunday Gardener team. Just email plantquestions at wbaltv.com.